top accolade global news updates. I am Soy Bifa Jackerich. European Union finance ministers moved closer to an agreement on new EU fiscal rules early on Friday after eight straight hours of talks, but will need more time and possible another meeting to reach a deal, two officials close to the talks said. France and Germany still differ on how to sustain investment when the budget deficit is above EU limits, and other countries, roughly in two camps behind Paris and Berlin, are wrangling over issues including the minimum pace of annual debt reduction. They have concluded for tonight, one EU diplomat said. I understand there was good progress, but they need further consultations from a political and legal point of view. A reform of the rules which underpin the euro currency by setting limits on government debt at 60% of GDP and for deficit at 3% is necessary because a surge in public debt after the COVID-19 pandemic made the existing framework unrealistic. EU governments also have to find ways for the rules to allow for large public investments needed to fight climate change, a challenge the old system does not address. The reform under discussion is to ease the current fiscal consolidation requirements by offering each country tailor-made debt reduction paths over four to seven years along with incentives to invest. France and Germany agree on 90% of the planned changes. Finance ministers from both countries said on Thursday on entering the talks a deal on the new rules among governments in December is unlikely to affect the Eurozone's fiscal stance next year because that has already been decided in draft national 2024 budgets prepared under earlier EU guidelines. For the new rules are important for bond investors and for the credibility of EU fiscal coordination as the European Central Bank needs fiscal policy to help fight inflation. Baghdad's heavily fortified green zone housing, the U.S. Embassy, was targeted with several rockets around dawn on Friday, two security sources said, noting it was not clear where the rocket had hit and whether there was damage. Explosions were heard near the embassy in Iraq's capital about 4 a.m. on Friday and sirens calling on people to dock and cover were activated according to social media videos from the scenes verified by an informed source. News agencies quoting unnamed U.S. and Iraqi military officials reports that rockets landed on the outskirts of the district housing government and diplomat building at Dan. In one video, sirens are heard amid a series of explosions close to the building. Another shows an area of Baghdad's diplomatic zone as explosions are heard in the background. The U.S. embassy in Baghdad has not yet commented on the reports. It was not immediately clear whether the embassy's air defense system were activated or if there were any injuries, Iraqi group that supports Palestinians have promised retaliation against Israel and its close ally, the U.S. for the deadly war in Gaza. Tech companies that have promised to support the ethical development of artificial intelligence AI are failing to live up to their pledges as safety takes a back seat to performance metrics and product launches. According to a new report by Stanford University researchers, despite publishing AI principles and employing social scientists and engineers to conduct research and develop technical solutions related to AI ethics, many private companies have yet to prioritize the adoption of ethical safeguards, Stanford's Institute for Human-Centered Artificial Intelligence said in the report released on Thursday, companies often talk the talk of AI ethics but rarely walk the walk by adequately resourcing and empowering teams that works on responsible AI. Researchers Sana J. Ali, Angela Christine, Andrew Smart and Rita Katila said in the report, titled Walking the Walk of AI Ethics in Technology Companies. Drawing on the experience of 25 AI ethics practitioners, the report said workers involved in promoting AI ethics complained of lacking institutional support and being siloed off from other teams within large organizations despite promises to the contrary. Employees reported a culture of indifference or hostility due to product managers who see their work as damaging to a company productivity. Revenue or product launch timeline, the report said, governments and academics have expressed concerns about the speed of AI AI 
developments with ethical questions touching on every from the use of private data to racial discrimination and copyright infringements. Such concerns have grown louder since OpenAI release of ChatGBT last year and the subsequent development of rival platforms such as Google Gemini. Employees told the Stanford researchers that ethical issues are often only considered very late in the game, making it difficult to make adjustments to new apps or software and that ethical considerations are often disrupted by the frequent reorganizations of teams. Metrics around engagement or the performance of AI models are so highly prioritized that ethics-related recommendations that might negatively affect those metrics require a refutable quantitative evidence, the report said. Yet, quantitative metrics of ethics or fairness are hard to come by and challenging to define given that companies' existing data infrastructures are not tailored to such metrics. Hong Kong's Cathay Pacific Airways said on Friday it has placed a firm order to purchase six Airbus A350 freighters with a list price of $2.71 billion as it replaces its aging Boeing 747 cargo jets. Cathay, which has six older model 747-400 ERFs and 40 newer 747-8Fs, expects the six A3550s to be delivered from 20 2027. And by the end of 2029, it said in a statement, this highly fuel efficient next generation freighters will provide important additional cargo capacity, expand our global network, and contribute to our sustainability leadership goals. CEO Ronald Lam said, under the deal, Cathay has also secured the rights to acquire 20 more A350 freighters. Cathay said it had negotiated price concessions with Airbus to below the list price. Major airlines typically get large discounts from plane makers. The selection means Cathay will replace its Boeing 747 fleet with a new Airbus aircraft after several months of postponing a decision. Boeing did not immediately respond to a request for comments. Cathay's choice for the next phase of cargo operations was seen as a key test for the two freighters. Given the airline operates both Boeing 777 and A350 passenger models, the Airbus freighters will link Hong Kong and Chinese mainland coupled with long-haul destinations in North and South America as well as Europe, Cathay said. Cathay Pacific is the world's fifth largest air freight carrier and the third largest traditional freight airline behind Quata Airways and Emirates when specialists, expresses parcel carriers, FedEx and UPS are excluded, according to International Air Transport Association data. India's central bank on Friday raised its fiscal year growth forecast on the back of a robust economy and flashed continuing tight monetary policy while it keeps watch over inflation risk. The Reserve Bank of India expects the economy to expand 7% in the current fiscal year from 6.5% after stronger than expected growth in the July to September quarter. The Indian economy presents a picture of resilience and momentum. Reserve Bank of India, ROBI, Governor, Shakti Kanta Das said in a prepared statement, growth remains resilient and robust. Surprising everyone, the outlook for inflation, however, remains uncertain, the central bank officials said. That prompted the central bank's six-member monetary policy committee, consisting of three RBI and three external members, to keep the repo rates unchanged at 6.50% for the fifth consecutive meeting and in line with the anonymous consensus. The vote on the repo rate decision was also anonymous. The RUBI had raised the repo rates by a total 250 basis points since May 2022 in efforts to cool surging inflation, which dropped to a four month low of 4.87% in October, but is expected to remain above the RUBI's 4% medium term targets for some time. The near term outlook is maxed by risk to food inflation, said DAS, which might lead to an uptick in. November 
November and December, even though core inflation, which excludes volatile food and fuel prices, has broadly moderated. The central bank projected consumer inflation at 5.4% for 2023 to 2024, unchanged by its previous projection. The MPC maintained its policy stance of withdrawal of accommodation to ensure inflation progressively aligns with the committee targets while remaining supportive of economic growth. Any kind of policy loosening is not on the table at this point. That said at the press conference, inflation. Management cannot be an autopilot. Economic Affairs Secretary Ajay Seth attending an event in New Delhi said supply-side measures to tame food inflation would continue to be taken. Economics expect rates to stay on hold for some time. The Indian rupee was slightly weaker at 83.3650 to the dollar while equity markets kept their gains following no change to the policy rate and stance. Benchmark bond yields were stable at 7.2419%. In October, the central bank said it may consider bond sales via open market operations to keep liquidity conditions tight amid elevated inflation. However, tighter than expected liquidity conditions in the banking system meant such sales were not needed. That is the size of Top Accolade Global News Updates. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy Friday.